Generic greetings and welcome back to Sim Airport once again and oh my we have a little bit of an issue with the roadway as you can see there is a fairly big traffic jam and oh it looks like a collision actually as well as boxes and everything all over the road oh my good grief that passenger bus is swerving like the drivers had seven pints anyway um oh my god look at this it's getting worse Yes, um, in the previous episode, we did manage to expand our uh, expand our airport quite a bit, actually, from here all the way down, which meant rerouting the baggage and things like that, as well as adding in extra security uh, stations, things like that. And generally, that was good progress. We do have s some issues, which is um, preventing us from being the best airport than we can be, really, because we have... Um, as you can see, passenger satisfaction is slightly lower than usual because of the amount of people that are stuck in this corner. There's also a lot of dirt everywhere, and I'm not entirely sure why. It is probably a bug with this build. I'm recording this directly after the last episode. As I said, I'm just uh, bulk recording these next couple of episodes just to just to make sure that we can actually get this thing done because I think uh, the more patches we go on with this save, the worse it's going to get. Uh, and the plan is to essentially get this uh, large gate open. And in order to do that, we needed to increase our throughput with the uh, roadway. And as you can see, I've spent a lot of money, pretty much half a million, on building this extra road. And even though it's not built, it is actually getting used. So it's like, yes, this is now technically a road. You can drive on it, which means that it's really, really problematic for people are coming in and out and going all over the place. But anyway, we now have a double road, which is cool. I, I, I guess. I mean, it's a thing. Uh, I don't know if it's entirely fixing the issue. Uh, we've also got this uh, dumpster, which I know a lot of people... Um, have have said that we should really place some more of it because then that fixes a lot of the issue when it comes to garbage and you don't get garbage placed all over the place and that might be that might be a good that might be a good idea actually you know what? I will go ahead and and do that uh, garbage garbage that's uh, uh, what if I type in garbage it's not oh it's a dumpster cost a dumpster there we go right so there I'll put in excellent hopefully that'll reduce the amount of trash bags all over the place but I don't think they just empty the dumpster I think they do actually pick it up from the dumpster and then move it in but oh well we'll see anyway so the plan for this episode is to hopefully get this aircraft la uh, large aircraft gate open but uh, we'll have to see how that one goes in terms of scheduling as you can see we are doing okay now I know there was probably some people saying what we can do is this Pull them forward, pull those forward, pull those forward, hang on, and then those forward, and then what we actually have here is a nice gap of four hours, where between 10 and 11, morning, we can put three more flights. Oh yes, let's do it. So, we're looking for available in the AM. There's Smart Air Lux, and that is a 777, can't have that one. 747 is far too big. And then finally, yeah, the, the, we just can't have those ones. Uh, morning flight in here, Super Alliance, which is a 777, which is probably far too big. And a 787, which is also... Too big as well. Okay, we'll, we'll scroll down. Uh, Pacific Airlines is a Beechcraft. Oh, 19 passengers. Very, very nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Starflight is a 707, which is... That's fine. And then we'll go to schedule and then place it like so. Excellent. Said close. And then we have... I guess there's only really these others here. So that is... 747, Airbus, and can we not drag this down? We can't increase this, sadly. 777, too big. 747 is too big. Airbus is just massive, so we can't have that one. Galactic Point is 787, 747, and yeah, it's just, just too big. And then Super Alliance is uh, 777 and 787. Can we not put the 787 with 300 passengers on the small runway? Let's try it. Let's try it. It cannot go there now. So I'm going to have to... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to remove it, sadly. Let's remove that. So it looks like, essentially, what we're going to be doing is having the Beechcraft. Where is he? Little Beechcraft. There it is. Pacific Airlines. Morning. Accept that. And then, job done. Little Beechcraft comes in. Because we might as well. We might as well. I mean... To be fair, all that's doing is increasing the uh, problems with drop-offs and things like that again, but uh, anyway, as you can see, the road is almost done, and I was going to say that'll then make it easier for people to get on and off, but by the look of it, uh, <laughs> going by the absolute carnage of this, no, I don't think it is. 
what I'm hoping is that at the bare minimum, the bare minimum, when the garbage truck comes along, it doesn't block up the entire road for days on end. Like, it does block it up for, I think it's six or seven hours. Oh, why do they park like that? Look at that, they're parking 45 degrees on. It's like they're being deliberately annoying. Let's block off the entire road, they say. Wow. Okay. Yeah, look at the state of that. That's a lot of buses. That's a lot of generic transportation solution systems getting stuck. But anyway, so we've got 278,000 generic units of currency, enough to probably go ahead and build our extra bit here. So we need to go to foundation and we need to expand it so we can get in and out of this area. And I ideally want it about a, about a 10, I think, like that. And that allows people to come down here and then in here and enough space to run the queue and things like that, which is why I've done it like I have. So that should be good. Uh, looks like we are just in the morning now, AM, and uh, there's the garbage. Yeah, the garbage is in and, oh yes, they do actually pick up garbage by the look of it in, do they pick it up in one big lump? Yes, they do. I think they do. I think they do. I think they are picking it up in one big lump. Instead of instead of each individual bag, like these trash bags, they are picking up and emptying the dumpster, right? So what I need to do is wait until this is empty and then place just a boatload of dumpsters down. Does the gar does that actually tell me that? Garbage. Generals will take your airports garbage here, the garbage truck will also come and pick up and haul it off. A larger zone accommodates more garbage in zone efficiency. We further increase by placing dumpsters. And then if we type in dumpsters. Helps keep trash under control by increasing the capacity of your garbage zone. So it only increases the capacity. It doesn't increase the pickup, I don't think. But anyway. Hopefully, they'll get rid of the trash on the road. But as you can see now, the garbage truck is there. And people are able to go past it. So for that alone, this half a million's worth of road has been worth it. Right, I'm happy about that. Excellent. So, not when people park directly, <laughs> diagonally across the thing. However, anyway, so we've got the gates pretty much sorted. We do want, probably sooner rather than later, an extra hangar. So let's go over to this and say hangar. And we'll have a large hangar. And the idea was to put a large hangar in... I was going to put it here, but obviously this expansion's prevented that. We can actually put another runway along here, by the way. Um, which is not ideal. Probably going to put it along this area, probably here to this end. That's probably the best place to put it. We could even delete like this section here if we really wanted to and put it in the center. That would be quite good. The question is whether or not uh, they use this. Like do they use this little taxiway here? I don't know. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. But I'm going to keep an eye on it for the next couple of planes to see if any of them use it. Why? No, Alright. I was going to say, oh, it already exists. Yes, it does technically already exist in a couple of areas. So, that comes along. That Oh, yeah. That, that one does use it. Because it's better than going this way and that way. Yeah. So, actually, yes. That there, that is used quite frequently. So, looks like I'm not going to place it there. So, that's a shame because in order to fuel up everything here, or in order to, I guess, um, have the taxiway um, not crammed with baggage cars going up and down here. We want it closer to that large aircraft gate, ideally. So, I mean, nothing's used this yet. Nothing's used this one. We could always delete this section here and have the hangar in there. That would make a lot more sense, actually, because then it is we've got one on the far end, or we've got the far end sorted. Because nothing coming down here and then doing that. But that's mainly because things have been landing on these uh, these runways. And as stuff's coming up here, obviously, it's not wanting to shunt it down in the same area. So maybe the solution is to get rid of that. Just keep an eye on things. I'll wait for the next... Yeah, see, that's went down that way. So deleting that wouldn't hurt. And these go up there into that one. They never use this. Will this one use it? Yes, that one used it. That one did use it. But will this one use it? It did use it. Okay, so they are used. I don't know whether we need them there, though. I am leaning towards getting rid of that. But 
Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was going to say I'll wait and then see what happens, but actually we do need to fix it sooner rather than later. What I'm going to do is take my mind off it a second while going over to baggage and expanding our baggage claiming area somewhat, like so. I don't know if that's the exact sizings, but we'll see what we can do here. And for some reason, blocked by underground conveyor belt. Oh, yes, I know what it means. It means there's an underground conveyor belt, obviously, but essentially it means that. Because of the routing, I'm going to have to demolish this, and a lot of people are going to be very, very, very pissed off. Uh, we'll get rid of that, and then go across like that, and then down. And hopefully, it'll be built very quickly, and then put the baggage back in. I think we'll be okay. Um, I'm thinking one, two, three. And then, getting the baggage claims extended to there. And obviously, we do need to then connect those up. Like that. And then we've got baggage claim all sorted. We could even put some uh, chairs and stuff around here. If it was one further, we'd be able to put it on both sides. Wouldn't we? Yes, we would. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, do we need that amount of gap? Mm, yeah, ideally you do want to. You don't want a decent. You want to get decent gap. So destroy that. Objects bar baggage carousel. We shall go there, there, and there. And then increase the baggage, like so. And then finally, got utilities. And then that should be it done. And people are actually sitting there, which is useful as well. A lot of people have said the same thing around here. We should probably go for benches and place just place just rows and rows of benches. And I think they're right. You know, I, I genuinely think that that's something I should have done a while ago. Just because. It seems sensible around here. There's nothing. There's nothing else going on here, so having a, some sort of seating arrangement would would help. There you go. Look, people are actually sitting and waiting for their bags. So that's worked out. And oh my good grief, that's a lot of people. Yeah, there you go. Look at all the dirt everywhere. How much dirt is in here? Okay, there is 58 units of dirty floor there. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely bugged. Slash broken. Uh, so, our aircraft gate large. Let's see if we can sort it out. Obviously, we want a large door there, and then we want a gate. Uh, a desk agent, is it called? Yes, desk agent. We'll put it in the put it in the center just to be a maverick for this one. And obviously, we need to assign it to that gate, and then we need to sort out the queues, which will be a fairly big one. I'm 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 assuming. Well, it will be because it's it's a uh, aircraft gate large, and after all, this is going to be like 747s, Airbuses, things like that. So, up to 500 maybe people to get on that. Okay, um, that's assigned now, and there you go. That's now a legitimate thing. The question is, where am I going to put this other hangar? And Oh, the thing is, the baggage routing is on this this side here, isn't it? The baggage routing is on this side. Can I place... a baggage routing station closer to source? Like this side. Can that be done? I think it can be done. Should it be done is the question. Ideally, what I would like is, let's say, my large hangar in the centre here. And then going down and around. I don't think deleting either of these would really cause me more, like, a lot of issues. Because although they are using it, they would just use the other one. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm going to click demolish, and I'm going to demolish um, this section here. 
And if it breaks the game, then I can place it back. I think that's I think that's fair. I think that's more than fair. Don't you? So there's that placed and Oh my god! Oh no wait, it's still working. Okay, so that's not surprising. Um we'll go over to the thing I can't think of. Yeah, that's using that one and that's using that one. Yeah, they're they're working fine. Right, we need to go over to a hangar. I want to place a large hangar, which is 52,000. And where can I place it? I must be placing near a taxiway. Do I just want it about centralised? Well, I think that is centralised, but we'll try it out. So we'll go for a, uh, a baggage routing station as well, and we'll place one in... I mean, that would be centralised, really, but we'll place one in um, this corner here. And obviously, we do then need to connect it up, which is going to be extremely... Amusing. Um, I don't know what the solution would be other than just something like this. Like that. And why can't I connect up? Oh, you can't connect it up to that. You can't connect multiples up, apparently. That's... That's, that's a thing. You can't connect multiples up. So, what we're going to do... We're going to destroy that and cancel that. And in terms of this, we're going to cancel all this project here. Because we're going to reroute our baggage to the centre mass. This is as close to the centre as we've got to our terminals, okay? So doing it that way will mean for the next probably day or so as we fix this, there's going to be a lot of issues. But once we fix this... Hang on. Is that the right way? Cancel project. Right, we want... Yeah, you can actually rotate it so it changes the blue and... The blue. So we want blue on the left, pink on the right. Like that. Yeah, that's how we want it. Uh, okay, there we are. So... Uh, that means now we can connect up this, so I'll go along and under the runway and then into that, and then this one will come down, and then across, and then down into there. Right. And why is that not placed? Now it's being placed. Sorted. So once that's placed, we should be able to do the rest. So let's go to uh, assigned vehicles. We can get several vehicles here. We're going to get a baggage car and a baggage car and uh, a baggage car. And we can have a fuel truck if we really want one. I mean, I keep, I've got one on here as well, but just don't use them. We just don't use them. Uh, what's our overall total? Our total estimated is 136,000 profit. Now, obviously, at the moment, we are massively short of that because of this baggage thing that we haven't got and people are having to use the golf carts and stuff. So it's 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 a huge issue. But yeah, it is what it is. In terms of our security, we haven't expanded to this um, this section here, but we don't need to. We should really put in some nice decorative bushes along. Uh, actually, no, maybe not along there because that'll that'll stop people exiting. Actually, I think they'll just walk through it, knowing what this game is like. <laughs> so we probably won't do that. But uh, we'll put some decorative bushes around here. There we are. Now for this terminal, we do need a cute. Good grief! The game is really starting to stutter. So that's taking off, that's fine, that's landing. That's a nice hangar. And then, did that just go through? Yes, it did just go through them baggage cars. But once this uh, routing system's in, obviously we'll be back to normal then. How far are they on with that? They are, oh, they're almost complete. There's just a little section there and a little section there. And then we are pretty much done. However, they have decided that it's probably best to knock off halfway through the day. Cancel project. Like that. Can you actually do that, please? That would be just marvellous. Just dandy if you actually did that. There we go. You can see the baggage coming along, actually, on them rails. I don't think I've noticed that before. So the baggage was exiting there. That's good. That's what we want. And they've left that one bit. 
One done. There we go. Oh, the baggage is coming off anyway. Oh, look at that streaming. It's all streaming along, all the baggage. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I've seen that underground before. Or if I have, I can't remember. All of my mind is quite fickle. Right, so, aircraft large gate, let's get this sorted. Queues. One queue. So, starting here. Um, actually, we don't need to do that. Um, I know mine start like that and you go around, but you don't actually need to do that. You can quite happily have one that goes, uh, like this. So, along and along. Along. And do that. Like, that is that is legit queue. Sign of that queue. Any passengers. We could have a first class passenger bit, but we're not going to. There's our nice decorative bushes. We also want some... Flight info displays, which we'll put in here. We'll put some food vending in between the bench. Yes. So one, two, like that. And this will be our seating system. And then some. Uh, Vending machines. Vending. Can I tape it? Here we go. So vending machines I'll put in this corner, I believe. Actually, let's place them like that. Cancel that one. And then vending electronics. Because we haven't placed electronics vending machines around here. Which you really should do. That should hopefully stop people going back over. I know there's different sp there's space and stuff like that. The, um... The latest test build of this does put in a planning tool, but I haven't tried it, and I'm, I don't like running on test builds. The game's buggy enough uh, without me having to run on a test build. So, yeah. Anyway, that looks like to me that, for a start, we've got a lot of buggy baggage cars that are just standing around. Oh, no, they, they probably come through, and, yeah, I don't know what's happening there. Um, I can click on them, I just can't do anything with them. Either way, we've got a lot of people. We've got money coming in, which is very, very good. And let's just check our status. Oh, look at that. Filter reserve gate. Oh, look at that. Loads of stuff. Uh, that was... Wow. Why was there so much filter reserve gates? I know what it'll have probably been. The planes didn't move for so long because... There wasn't enough baggage being transported to them. That's probably what it was. That just... Why is that not moved? I'm going to have to break the deadlock on them. I don't know why they weren't moving. That's really strange. They weren't moving. At least there's that button to manually tell them to bugger off. Right. So. I think we are just about sorted here. Um, yeah, those planes are coming along. Where's he going? Yeah, I don't know if these baggage cars have... They've totally glitched out and they're not working properly there. I don't know. I can't fix it. There's nothing I can do. Maybe, actually, there might be ones I can do. I... have... sold them, and it says deleted... But you then can't buy them back again. Well. That's a new one. <laughs> okay. Right. So. Oh. And now. It's. Hang on. Buying that one there. Has allowed me to add that one there. Well it, it says add and that's no longer deleted. But it won't allow me to add it because it's greyed out. Yeah. This is getting. Um. Interesting. So next episode, what we'll do, we will get our aircraft large gate up and running and then watch the game pretty much explode in a pile of bugs and early access uh, problems. 
and if we have time, we'll go ahead, maybe either that episode or the one after, uh, and build a cafe around here. And then we say, regardless of whatever we've done, we've at least done a full completionist thing, where we've got large gates, we've got big aircraft coming in, we've got all the research, we've got all of the road stuff done, and we've got the cafeteria and stuff like that. I think that's what we'll do, because we can. As always, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.